What's up Affordable Armory folks, how y'all doing? So, uh, after I posted my Glock 44 video, I watched a few Glock 44 videos from other channels and I saw one in particular where the guy said he put 900 rounds through it and then the video I was watching was his follow-up video and he said he cleaned the gun and he was going to try again because he had basically the same issues that I did. He said uh, 36 grain in, in particular it was having trouble with and um, looking back on my first video that's exactly the problem I was having was uh, 36 grain and um, so I thought you know what let me give it a second chance too. So I have cleaned this gun and uh, I'm gonna take it to the range and I'm gonna shoot the uh, Remington Golden Bullets which are 36 grain. They're, the, um, they're some of the ones I had issues with. I did have uh, issues with other ammo as you saw but um, go back and watch that first video if you haven't seen it. But uh, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna take some Remington Golden Bullets with me and try those in the clean gun. And then I'm also going to take CCI Mini Mag 40 grain because those are pretty much the standard, like, should work in every gun. So, uh, without further ado, let's head to the range and try it out and see what happens.
All right, guys. Uh, here we go with this was 50 rounds of the Remington Golden Bullet, and uh, as you can see, it was still pretty much shooting high. I could not dial that in for the life of me. Um, I did hit some in the center, but also mostly high, some higher than high. Uh, I just it was not good. And then uh, I switched over to the CCI Mini Mags. And then the grouping was uh, quite a bit better, but still, as you can see, high. So I don't know what to say, man. This gun is not really, uh, it's not fun to shoot. I'll, I'll just say it. It's not a good gun. Sorry, Glock. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, as you can see, it still shoots high and cleaning the gun did not help it I was still getting malfunctions so sorry Glock but uh, you got a lemon here buddy real quick I'll do the rundown of what I would normally do in a full length review because I'm thinking I may just sell this thing I bought this gun for you guys because I knew you would want to know you know what's it like is it any good blah 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 uh, you know it's a new gun it's popular so I bought this gun for you guys I had no desire whatsoever to buy this gun so I'm probably gonna get rid of it after this video um, but let's do the rundown so price and affordability uh, this runs about four hundred dollars three fifty to four hundred dollars depending on where you find it at um, pretty much 399 is what I've been seeing so you could probably find it cheaper but that's about the going price ergonomics um i mean it's a glock gen 5 so whatever they're not the best ergonomics but it is it is uh you know ambidextrous slide stop slide release um does have front and rear slide serrations the uh mag release is reversible blah 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 it's got um the same grip texturing on every glock ever uh it's got texturing on the front of the trigger guard there. The trigger itself feels like every Glock trigger I've ever pressed. So there is that. Um, yeah. So purpose, why would you buy this gun? Um, you know, Glock pitched it as a trainer pistol. I kind of think that's dumb. You should train with the pistol that you're gonna use. Because uh, if you train with this, you're training with a lighter weight gun and a lower recoil gun. So when you go to your Glock 19, which is, I'm assuming that's what you would carry if you're training with this, the recoil is going to be different. The weight of the gun is going to be different. Uh, it's, it's just not a good idea to train with a 22, in my opinion. Now, for training someone else, sure. Um, if you're gonna teach a kid to shoot for example and you want to groom him or her to the Glock series of pistols absolutely buy this gun let them shoot this gun until they get it down and then you can work their way up to the 9 millimeter um, sure absolutely to train someone but not for your personal training if you get what I'm saying um, fun plinker not really it's not a good shooter it shoots high consistently shoots high that's no fun um, I mean I could think of several pistols my M&P compact 22 pistol shoots great and it for all practical purposes is uh, the same as my M&P shield so I mean everything that Glock said this was my M&P 22 compact actually is that's really it guys uh, price and affordability it's, it's decently affordable ergonomics it's a Glock um, would I buy this gun again probably not like I said I'm most likely gonna sell it cuz I bought it for you guys uh, I shot it I reviewed it I'm done with it period as always guys thanks for watching head over to affordable-armory.com pick you up some merch while you're there to help support the channel uh, check out the blog all our social media links are there as well as our affiliate links so you can buy something that you were going to buy anyway and get a little bit of a discount and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time